hello everyone welcome to another video in this video we will discuss how to use export import functionality in power apps for dataverse data management so let's say i have an entity called as sbi bank accounts and this information i want to export and i want to edit it locally using excel sheet and re-import for data application okay so let's say i want to update so how to export if you click on these three dots you will find the export excel option you can directly edit excel online using excel online operation or feature that i should not need to export it but if you want to export it you can choose static worksheet and you can choose a location to store and you will see once it is exported all the bank account records will be exported as an excel sheet and stored in your local machine now these are the information that are exported okay let's say i want to edit the customer with i want to update this customer as someone else so let me copy george Bradford and replace this just john goslin okay so i have i have updated four rows here uh, four records by changing the customer name next i want to add a new customer okay let's say I want to add another customer which is an existing customer and for UK branch name I want to update account number I don't want to put because it is auto generated so I'm just put saving account for John Gosling now save it so what i have done when i have exported excel sheet with existing rows now it is it is uh, exported but i am changing four rows with different customer and the new row i have updated with a new record now let us import this so click on these three dots and click on import from excel choose the excel it's telling that so sorry you have to import it we have exported click on import excel now click on choose file select this and click next here you can choose that whether you want to allow duplicate or not if you allow duplicate duplicate records will be created if you switch up this if the record is already there in the system it will not ask you to create again okay if you have created any alternate key also you can choose alternate key so that the key will be validated if the name is already exist it will not create the record otherwise you can ignore this click on finish import and click on done once you click on done after some time uh, the once the background job for importing updated records will be completed all the customers will be updated as george bedford where there is a John Gosling and it will create a new bank account for John Gosling so right now it is six records now let me refresh it will take some couple of seconds you can check the uh, progress in the batch job uh, the import job you see guys now everything is updated with uh, George Bedford and a new record is created with John Gosling Right. so this is how you can simply export any record from the system as a static worksheet and update existing data and add new data and re-import it so that it will create in the system okay and in the static worksheet if you want to uh, export the records from the current page which will not consider other page records then you can use static worksheet page only okay so this is how you can do export import okay and if you want to use uh, the pivoting also if you want to export uh, the excel sheet pivot table you can also do that where you can design the pivoting information uh, for the records that you have created so in my next video i will tell you how dynamic pivot table is working thanks everyone watching this video please practice this